Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Ratchet and Clank. In the last part, we took care of everything we could do on Outpost X11. And now, we're gonna go off into our nice little spaceship and head off to Metropolis. So let's go ahead and get in there. Yeah. This gets a little annoying after a while because you have to sit through it every time you want to fire up your spaceship. Have I ever even tried to skip it? I don't know. Whatever. So yeah. Find Al's Robo Shack. So yeah, let's go ahead and blast off. Dun dun dun! Planet Kerwan. Yeah, um, sometimes I get the feeling this city was kind of inspired by a uh, Curzant from Star Wars films. It has a little more of a greenish look than that, but just the concept of a gigantic city. And uh, a little bit later I'll show you these skyscrapers just hang up really high in the air, like, like they're above clouds and crap to some extent. Um, now we'll see in a sec. Okay, do I need... Yes, we got the new blaster weapon. And we got enough to buy it, so... Yes, this... Probably be using this throughout the entire game. It's rather useful. Um, it does somewhat auto-target, auto but it's not exactly the best. In this game, it doesn't have the best auto-targeting. It's rather annoying because this is rather combat focused, but whatever. They kind of improved that in later games by adding strafing. So, whatever. Um. Over there! Is that Captain Quark? Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Jeez, Ratchet, was that called for? Man, you could have hurt Clank's feelings. Um, anyways, what I'm trying to do is, once you beat this guy up enough, You'll destroy the quark part and I'll just be left with the screen and that'll give you a skill point. Which, um, well, you don't really need them in the first game. Actually, I can't even remember what skill points do. Anyways, it's taking rather long. Uh, maybe you need a certain gun. I don't remember. Um, uh, screw that. Uh, it's not really worth showing off by wasting half the video's length doing so. So anyways, we've got to go through this rather dangerous um, survival course. And I say dangerous because of that little nice little disclaimer this Robo Quark gave to us. Yeah, that must have been um, pretty reassuring. Anyways, I don't think I've said this, but... Oh, um, here. Got some wall jumping. Yeah. Awesome. Or platformer type of stuff. Anywho, um, as I was saying... Ratchet can't take any damage from falling. I guess they want to kind of suggest he's, like, cat-like. I guess I don't know. Whatever. You know, Witcher evolved from a cat or something like that. But, anyways, um, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, yeah, let's try to show this off a little bit. See, look, it's like 
mist way down there. Like, these buildings just go on forever. So, yeah. Kind of more of why it reminds me of Curzant. But, anyways, that's not really relevant to what we're doing at this point. So, yeah, if you want to waste the time to get those few bolts, go ahead and run around. Here, um, so, yeah, this game... It is a combat platformer, so you're going to get some combat and also quite a bit of platforming, and I just failed. Uh, I'm going to just use the excuse I'm still getting used to the controls, so... Huh. Jeez, oh, I almost did it again. Okay, wait for these two to come out. Ratchet's double jump is freaking useless, man. Like, barely helps you at all, but I think it gets improved once a certain upgrade is gained. Yeah, you can't jump on it until it's all the way out either, so kind of annoying, but I'm not sure if that's that bolt's worth going back over there. Let's just go this way. Okay. And now... These bolts are Alright, come to Papa. Okay. Now just jump here and that's the end of the fitness course. Well basically at least. And look who's that lady. Listen up, you lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak, weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark! Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance! Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot, so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay. But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. Um, that cutscene is worth a thousand bolts. Um, so yeah, if you don't have the money, you can jump in that air taxi, but we do, so... Sweet! I bet Captain Quark uses stuff like this all the time. Ha! Real men can swing without silly toys like that! The two of you make me sick! <laughs> Congratulations on your new Gadgetron swing shot. Use it on standard Yeah, yeah, lady. Blah, 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 blah. I can't hear you, can't hear you. Sorry, sorry. Um, you're breaking up. <laughs> um, yes, okay, um... Anywho, that is probably that one's probably one of my favorite characters in this game series. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, uh, you gotta hold down the circle button throughout the swing. Once you release it, you let go. Like on these swing ones, like green ones, it'll just pull you to it, and that's it. The yellow ones, you can swing back and forth on them. So you gotta actually let go at the right time with those. Okay, so anyways, now we got the swing shot, we can go back to Outpost X11 and go through that one path, but we won't be doing that. In the next part, we'll be going to find Al's Robo Shack, so see you guys then.